Hello friends. Today we will start the online lecture series of Engineering Mathematics 2 uh, subject and subject code is 10700. we will start unit number first first order ordinary differentiable equation in first unit we covered three different topics topic number first differentiable equation second order of differentiable equation and degree of your differentiable equation third one the example based on order and the degree of your differentiable equation so So we learn what is the mean by equation. What do you mean by expression? Before we start the differentiable equation concept, we will summarize what is the mean meaning of expression. What is the meaning of equation? And then we will just forward for the differentiable equation. and it's some basic terms so first we should know what is the meaning of expression we know that any function in number of variables is said to be an expression suppose the f of x is a function which is defined then we said that this f of x is my expression f of x is expression suppose this function contains several variables x and y are the variables present in my function then this is also called as an expression in the similar way when we increase the number of variables in the function it becomes an expression for example x square plus y square plus 2xy is an example of your expression is the example of our expression then we will just move forward towards what is the mean by equation the equation which is can be defined by using expression the expression in which we are defined the left hand side and the right hand side terms then this particular phenomena is said to be the equation is the like expression in which we are just derived some equal equality terms in that it becomes an equation so example of this equation is same the expression is equated to zero it is said to be an equation so the x square plus y square plus 2x is the simple expression when this expression is equated to zero means equal zero then it becomes equation and it becomes equation so this is the fundamental concept of your equations so equation is nothing but the number of terms which is present in the expression is it's equated to some right hand side terms and it becomes equation so our main concept is differentiable equation so we already saw the what is the meaning of your equation the equation which whose contains left hand side and right hand side then it is becomes equation so what is the mean by differentiable equation the any equation any equation which contains the derivative terms which contains derivative terms is said to be the differentiable equation is said to be the differentiable equation for example this differentiable equation is defined as d2y by dx square plus 5 times dy by dx plus 6y is equal to sin 2x is the differentiable equation why is the differentiable equation because it contains the derivative terms 
d2y by dx square is the second order derivative present in this equation again dy by dx also the first order derivative present in my equation so when the derivative terms present in your equation this equation becomes the differentiable equation so there are two different concepts on your differentiable equation first is what is the order of your differentiable equation and second one what is the degree of your differentiable equation we will see that what is it mean by order what is mean by degree the first order the order of your differentiable equation is nothing but the highest order derivative which is present in your differentiable equation is a derivative terms which are present in our differentiable equation so we have to just to observe what is the highest derivative of that equation contains according to that we derive its order and the degree of your differentiable equation can be find the highest order derivative whose index indicates the degree of your differentiable equation so the definition of your degree of your differentiable equation is nothing but the degree or the power or the index of the highest order derivative which is present in your differentiable equation in the differentiable equation which contains the derivative terms we have to first observe what is the highest derivative taken in that differentiable equation and we have to check the index of such a de derivatives and such a terms index indicates the degree of your differentiable equation so this is the fundamental concept of your degree and the order of your differentiable equation how do find the degree and order of your differentiable equation so we can just see by using some examples so before we just go for examples we should know the some rules how to find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation the differentiable equation is totally free from your radical form so what is mean by radical the equation does not containing any type of root the product of your different derivatives is so dy by dx is not multiplied your d2y by dx square then we cannot identify the derivative derivatives order and the index of your derivative is in the form of integer in the form of integer then and then we can find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation so we will just uh, see some examples it will clear what is the mean of your order and the degree of your differentiable equation in this example they ask find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation and the differentiable equation is given by d2y by dx square whose index is 3 plus dy by dx whose index is 4 plus y is equal to 0 the differentiable equation is given and we have to find the order of the differentiable equation as well as the degree of your differentiable equation so what we have to do we have to just observe the highest derivative which is present in our differentiable equation to find its order when we observe here when we observe here the highest derivative terms which is present in our differentiable equation is d2y by dx square so dy by dx square indicates the differentiable equation in which the derivative of your y occurs two times so order of your differentiable equation becomes two and the similar way we have to identify what is the index of your second order derivative in this example the degree of your differentiable equation is 3 so the highest order is 2 it indicates the order of your differentiable equation and the index of the highest order derivative indicates the degree of your differentiable equation so we will just move forward we will see another example to clarify what is the mean how to find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation. suppose this is example again this example they ask what is the different what is the order and the degree of your differentiable equation so the equation is what 1 plus dy by dx minus d2y by dx square rest to 3 upon 
is equal to zero. Sometimes the right hand side indicates some function. Suppose cosine x is also sine x is also a differentiable equation because it contains the left hand side as well as right hand side, and the it becomes a differentiable why because it contains the derivative terms. The so dy by dx and dy by dx square. These particular derivatives are present, so we can say that this differentiable equation have some order and the degree. How to find the order? First, we have to just represent our example. Then we will just find the highest order terms. The dif differentiable equation is given. That is a one plus dy by dx plus dy by dx square raised to three upon two is equal to zero. Is it equal to zero or some sometimes some function? We are just already just taken this equal to sin nx. We have to take to sin nx. Sometimes it is a zero. It doesn't mean so the right hand side is zero, right hand side is not equal to zero. Suppose our example containing it is equal to zero, then we will just simplify how to find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation. So when we observe this differentiable equation, just we got two different derivatives. A divide by dx, first order, the d2y by dx square, the second order. Means we can easily find the order of your differentiable equation because the highest order derivative present in my differentiable equation is d2y by dx square. So according to that, we can easily say that the differentiable equation whose order is two. But we cannot easily identify whether the differentiable equation's degree is what. Why? Because the index of your the terms d2y by dx square is three upon two. It is in terms of fraction. Means the radical form is present in our differentiable equation. So that we have to first remove this radical form. For that, we have to make some suitable operations. This d2y by dx square, whose index is three by two, we have shifted to right hand side. It becomes positive. Then, just when we observe that the index of your d2y by dx square is three upon two, just we have to con we have to just remove this three upon two index in terms of integer. For that, we have to making the we have to just square this equation. Then we can find the degree of your differentiable equation. After squaring, we get one plus dy by dx bracket square is equal to d2y by dx square. That's to three by two, and when we're making the square, one by two and the two get cancelled. We get d two y by dx square to three. This is the new equations. From this equation, we can easily find the order and the degree of your differentiable equation. When we observe that this differentiable equation, the highest order derivative is. After opening the bracket, we get this. This two may be written here, two d y by dx. Then, when we observe this differentiable equation, the highest order derivative is two. So, the order of your differentiable equation is two, and whose index? This is the highest order derivative terms, and whose index is three. Then, the degree of your differentiable equation is three, and order is two. So, we will clarify with another example, and the example is here: the ratio of two terms. X plus dy by dx divided by under root y plus dy by dx bracket square is equal to c. Again, there is a ratio of two derivative terms. We cannot find that order and the degree of this differentiable equation from this given example. To find the degree and order of your differentiable equation. We have to just free this equation from radial radical form. For that, we have to make the conversion. The given differentiable equation we wrote as it is. Next step, what we have to do? We have to just multiply the given differentiable equation by under root y plus dy by dx bracket square. So this the denominator is shifted to your right hand side. It becomes c times this. Again, this is not a free from your radical form. Again, the y plus dy by dx bracket square term, which is present in root sign. So we have to just remove the root sign. For that, we have to square the given differentiable equation. After squaring, what we got? 
just the left hand side bracket square is equal to c whose become c square and the root get removed and we get y plus dy by dx bracket square when we observe this we can again cannot find the order and the diff order and the degree of your differentiable equation because we have to make the separation of the bracket means we have to expand the left hand side bracket when we expand this x plus dy by dx bracket square and this dy by dx bracket square when we observing when we making simplified what we got just we get some new new terms and we will just see here we will so we get x square plus 2 times x x square plus 2 times x dy by dx plus this dy by dx whose index becomes 2 this is the expansion of your bracket then we observe here the dy by dx which occurs several times in the left hand side the dy by dx again the dy by dx whose index is 2 on the right hand side the dy by dx whose index is again 2 means we got 3 dy by dx in this 3 dy by dx terms indicates the order of your differentiable equation is 1 and when we observe that the degree of the dy by dx is 2 which indicates the order of your differentiable equation is 1 and the degree of your differentiable equation is 2. this is the concept how to just uh, find the order and degree of your differentiable equation so we will stop here we will we will just continue in the next lecture with next topic